This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 191. Five Ways to Instantly Appear More Confident, part one, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Happy Monday, welcome back to another week of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs on the web. It's been a full week of baseball already. I am so super excited. And the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, ugh, still can't stand that name, are doing, well, let's not go there right now. So today's post comes from Steve Camp, the creator of Nerd Fitness. And it's longer than what I typically read. So I'm gonna break it up into two episodes. And actually, I'll be doing that again with a post on Wednesday. So this week is only gonna feature two authors, but the posts are worth the listen, trust me. So with that, let's jump right in and start optimizing your life. Five Ways to Instantly Appear More Confident, Part 1, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Today, I'm going to teach you how to appear more confident. Why? Because confidence is one of the most important skills in life that you can acquire, other than learning to use the force, obviously. Now, I'm not teaching you this stuff just so you can become some sleazy pickup artist. I'm teaching you because I know how important even a little bit of confidence can be in everyday situations, whether it's negotiating with your boss for a raise, buying a car, giving a presentation, or meeting your fiance's parents. We're naturally attracted to and will have our opinions swayed by those who have, or appear to have, a lot of confidence. Nerds usually get the short end of the stick in the, quote, naturally confident department but that doesn't mean we can't acquire it like a new skill, matrix style. If you started losing weight, I'm sure part of you still feels like the old you, even if you've changed physically. It's time to take pride in yourself and truly be comfortable in your own skin. Here are five steps that you can take to start seeing a difference immediately. One, stop slouching. If you can develop good posture, a trait that always seems to bypass nerds, you'll appear approximately 145% more confident within seconds. I definitely made up that stat, by the way. I used to have awful posture through most of my life, which caused lots of lower back pain. It wasn't until I made a conscious effort to focus on standing up straight and strengthening my lower back that the pain went away. In order to stay on target, I actually hung a posture post-it note up on my bedroom door so I wouldn't forget each morning. Here's how you can get started. One. Stand up as tall as you can, like you're a puppet and somebody just pulled the string that's attached to the top of your noggin. Two, pull your shoulder blades down and back as far as possible. This will feel really weird if you spend a lot of time hunched over a desk. Three, pick your chin up and look straight ahead. Stop looking down while walking around. There's a whole world out there for you to see. If you have trouble pulling your shoulder blades back, try doing two back exercises say lat pull-downs and dumbbell rows, for every one chest exercise in your workout. This will build up the muscles in your upper back and allow you to actually pull those shoulder blades back together. Want something easier? Try standing with your heels, butt, and head against a wall, and then pull your shoulder blades back until they're touching the wall too. Do this daily and increase the length of the stretch each time. If you spend all day in a chair, try this. Sit down in your chair, and then stand back up without having to rock forward. If you have to lean forward even slightly, you're doing it wrong. Sit straight up like you're always ready to stand without having to lean forward. Your lower back will probably get tired as sitting like this because it's not used to the new position. Work on it. Do planks every other day, working your way up to two minutes, and you'll have a rock solid core and incredibly strong lower back. This is probably the hardest step of all, as you've probably spent years and years developing poor posture without even thinking about it. Spend a month making a concerted effort to have better posture, however, and you'll be well on your way to a more confident appearance. Pretty soon, you won't even have to think about it. Tip number two, slow down. I am terrified of public speaking. Seriously, I hate being in front of even a small crowd. However, at my old job, I was put on stage in front of thousands of people to introduce bands, and I sounded like I belonged up there. You know how I did it? By taking a deep breath, slowing down, and practicing. I still get really nervous, but I've learned to manage it so well that nobody notices. What's the importance of slowing down? When you get nervous, your voice tends to go up a few notes, and you'll talk faster than you realize. These are two dead ringers for, quote, scaredy cat. 
I'll never forget presenting my senior business proposal back in college. About 30 seconds in my presentation, which I thought was going well, I noticed my friend Deepa in the back of the room frantically waving her arms at me, mouthing, slow down. I quickly readjusted my speech, talked way slower than I thought I needed to, and took longer breaths between sentences. She later told me that she couldn't understand the beginning at all, but the rest of it came out perfectly. The rest of that class was molded by that presentation, so thanks Deepa for saving my If you get nervous in front of people, no matter how big or small the group, talk slower than you think you need to, and don't forget to breathe. In your head, it might seem way too slow, but out loud, it's just right. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled, Five Ways to Instantly Appear More Confident by Steve Camp of nerdfitness.com. And like I said, I'll wrap up this post on tomorrow's episode. I really like Steve's suggestions of standing with your back to the wall and seeing if you could pull your shoulder blades back so that they're touching the wall. And I also liked he recommended some back exercises to help strengthen those muscles. But something else you can do to help your posture, and it's really, really easy to do. When you walk, if you notice when your arms are swinging, which way your thumbs are facing. For most of us, we're walking in a relaxed position and our thumbs are probably slightly gravitating towards facing our quads or our thighs. Instead of walking like that, gently turn your thumbs so that they face straight ahead. Basically, they face the same direction your eyes are going. By turning your thumbs so that they face straight ahead instead of facing your thighs, you're gonna automatically feel your shoulders go back and down. I use this little technique every time I'm walking on the treadmill especially, because I'll notice I'll start to hunch forward, but I'll say, okay, turn those thumbs straight ahead, and all of a sudden, my back starts to straighten up, I stand tall, and then I can feel my shoulder blades going back and down. Being a nerd myself, I was often told by my parents, stand up straight, you're slouching, so I can absolutely relate to this idea of improving your posture. Now, before I go, Just a quick reminder that we give away books to random people on our mailing list on the first of every month. Plus, you'll get some helpful spreadsheet tools from us. It's a nice way to show your support. It's all free. Just come by oldpodcast.com and enter your email address. You'll get the spreadsheets right away and you'll be in all of our raffles automatically. That's it for today's episode. I hope you have a great start to your week. I'll see you on tomorrow's show where I'm gonna continue part two of this post where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.